Good morning. Uh, I am Troy Dawson. I am on the CentOS Stream team. That's actually my day job. Those other talks that I was given before, those are, I won't say side hustles, but uh, they're not my main job. Uh, my main job is to work on CentOS Stream. Uh, this talk was prompted by, uh, of all things, the lack of a CentOS docs SIG. Um, because a lot of things aren't documented well. So, that's not, well, that is true, but that the SIG is not the reason for this talk. Anyway, before I start, a disclaimer. These are things as they are right now, and as far as I know, they aren't changing in the near future. That this is my best faith thing. Uh, we work at Red Hat, and every once in a while, things change. Um, so, like I said, this is a snapshot of right now. Uh, I will, I'm not trying to hide anything, I'm not doing anything, but if, if tomorrow things change, I didn't know about it, okay? So let's start. No, me, you should, okay, I can't do Yoda. Um, these are things you really should know about CentOS Stream. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody in this room knows these things, but for the live stream, or actually those YouTubers watching this uh, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, maybe you don't know. Uh, CentOS Stream is upstream of RHEL. Um, we, for those of you who, who don't know, we start with Fedora. Fedora does a lot of things. Every three years we grab the re release. Right now we're grabbing it from Fedora 40. is going to go into 10. Um, and then after we bring it over to the CentOS stream and RHEL, it constantly is working upstream of RHEL. So right now for CentOS stream 9, it's more looking like RHEL 9.4, even though 9.3 is released, it looks more like 9.4. So it is upstream of RHEL. So that hopefully you guys know. And if that was a surprise thing in the room, I'm glad I, I let you know. Uh, CentOS Stream is only supported five years. That's different than RHEL. Uh, for those of you Currently on CentOS Stream 8, you got five months. I think that's five months, if I do my math right. So it's, it's different than RHEL, it's different than Fedora. Four months, I have my math wrong. It's different than RHEL, it's different from Fedora. It's like longer than your, your Ubuntu release, but shorter than the Debian, anyway. You can do the math. I thought Debian last, well, I don't, I don't know Debian. I shouldn't even mention that. <laughs> okay, CentOS Stream is a rolling distribution. Um, and what I mean by that is there's no releases. When RHEL has a RHEL 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, Fedora has Fedora 39, 40, 41. Uh, CentOS Stream 9 had its initial release and there's, on average, uh, a weekly release. Um, of, I, I said release. A weekly update of a Compose and DVDs. Um, but there's no, this is now 9.1, this is 9.2. So it is technically a rolling release. There's only updates after the things. I'm getting shaking heads in the, in the audience. There's no, minor releases. there's no minor releases. We didn't. Yes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. The let me rephrase what has been said. Calling it rolling is going to create more problems. I didn't know how else to to put this, um, but we have major releases: a nine, an eight, a ten, but. Um, it's not really, okay, 
It's all the wording's wrong, but you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry, Internet. Okay. Oh, again, my Yoda voice is not good. No, me, you might. Um, a lot of people know Grogu. Um, and a lot of people in this room know what I'm about ready to say. But some of you might not. I don't know. First off, all of our composers are public. Um, they are not only, we don't release them. As they're being composed, these links are live. So if, if there's a uh, Central Stream 10 Compose, which by the way, they're still failing, um, going on right now, you can actually watch it go on as it goes. Um, so all of our composers are live. We're not trying to hide those things anywhere. And if you want to get things earlier than we release them, uh, we generally release CentOS Stream 8 and 9 uh, once a week. Although there is composers more often than that, we only take, you know, we, we look at the Monday one and go, okay, did it pass all the tests? And is there any critical thing that we need to, to go in? So anyway, composers, totally public. What, what do we got next? Uh, RPM source. Okay. This is totally public, and I don't understand why people keep saying it isn't. Um, RPM, so I'll breathe, Troy. Okay. <laughs> it's public. It's right there. There's the URL to all of our RPMs and uh, modules, too. There they are. Uh, I'm going to skip to the next one. <laughs> okay, this one is, I, I love this slide, and thank you. This is, uh, uh, and I believe it's from Adam, who I believe got it from Alexandra. Um, it, it's a good, it's a good diagram. So, this is something that I keep getting asked, and so I'm going to repeat it again. Some of you guys know or not know. When the RPMs get synced into the GitLab repo, repo that we just I just showed in the previous thing, they then get synced to RHEL and. I'm not going to say exactly when, because it's in 10 minutes after. OK. <laughs> there we go. Um, the, the, the source gets synced over, over to Rails diskit. Um, currently, that's internal. That's changing. But anyway, it gets synced to Rails diskit, wherever that is. Um, and then. They get built on CentOS Stream, and when a successful CentOS Stream build happens, the Rail build gets kicked off. They want they do this so that they're building off as much as the same RPMs as possible. Occasionally, they get a little bit out of sync, and they might have to redo something. But the CentOS Stream build should look exactly like the Rail build. Um, and as I said, like right now. CentOS Streams 9 is looking more like 9.4. So this is looking at the RHEL 9.4 build. Um, so some of you may or may not, I get asked that a lot. When do they, when do they trigger the RHEL builds? They trigger them as soon as they can. Um, I don't think I have done the next slide. Oh, I do talk about the next slide. Uh, let's talk about some of the other steps. When the CentOS Stream builds, you might because you can look at this, it's in CentOS Stream Koji, which I think I have a link later on. Um, you'll, you'll see a tag that says gate. This package says gate. So the gating happens, it's actually doing internal, doing a rel gating. And then because those packages should be the same, the gating then passes for both CentOS Stream and rel. So anyway, I love. The diagram is pretty good. Uh, it's easy to talk to. Let's let's move on beyond the workflow. This one is sort of new, uh, and maybe not everybody here knows that. Uh, Red Hat decided to change Bugzilla to Jira. Yay! <laughs> 
Um, this is now where you go to, issues.redhat.com. If you're, this is, this is my personal account, if not my Red Hat account. If you, if you log in, this is sort of what it looks like. I'm not saying that is the interface. I'm not saying good or bad. That is the interface that you will see. You click. <laughs> I, I'm not going to comment, uh, but uh, that is the interface you see. That create button, that's what you want to click on, create. And that thing pops up. I, I'm not going to comment on this, but there's a lot of things there. <laughs> type rel. Do not type CentOS stream. Even though you're doing the CentOS stream bug, type rel. CentOS stream is rel. Um, and you'll, you'll come to a thing that looks like this. So it says rel. Uh, Usually one, you're doing bugs usually. Uh, mine bash is broken and then component says bash. But you see effects versions is CentOS Stream 9. You can set that, uh, CentOS Stream 9, 8, um, whatever. So if you come to this screen that doesn't have components and versions like that, you went to the wrong stream, you typed in CentOS Stream. Don't type in CentOS Stream <laughs> because then it gets assigned to to this wonderful person in the back there and he will just, he will say, this is not mine and he will reassign it to somebody else. Um, so, looks like this, yes, do this, type rel. <laughs> looks like that, no, stop, <laughs> go back, change. Okay, let's, let's move on. Oh, I'm already to this point. Know me, you might. No, know me, I doubt. This is Yaddle. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I only know how it's spelled. I'm gonna say Yaddle, and all you Star Wars geeks can probably correct me, and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she was actually in episode one. Uh, in the background. Okay. Many people don't know that our release engineering code is public. Um, this is the CentOS Stream release engineering team. So doing our composes, we got comps there, we got kickstarts there, we got our release engineering tools that has scripts that how do we make our, our uh, containers and how do we make our AWS. It's all right there. Um, and you, you know what, I, I love that. Um, to be honest, I think I mentioned that yesterday I made RHEL 8 and I had to do everything totally secret and I couldn't do anything. And for this one, everything, all my scripts and everything are out there in the public and I love it. Um, our automation is public. This is a Jenkins thing. Um, just so you know, if you go there and try to hack into it, uh, you really can't log in. That's sort of, you can see everything, but uh, you can't log in there. Um, but you can see everything. You can say, hey, look, Stream 10 Development Compose. We are actually trying to do that. You see it's red. Um, so if it's getting there. It will be ready on time. Don't worry. But uh, see our Stream 8. Do I, have, do I have a better shot on the next slide? I do. So this is Stream 9. When we do a, uh, a release of Stream 9, those are actually the steps. We, we didn't necessarily write those for you. That's for us so that we can remember what the steps are because there is a lot of them. But the, we automatic, we really only do two things. You can see the step one and step two. That's all there is. Step one is automatic. Uh, we check the tests, and um, if, like I said, we check the tests, we make sure there isn't some critical package that didn't quite make it into the compose, and then we push the button. And then step two does all the other stuff. So anyway, you can see and watch us build our things. I, I don't know why you would want to, but some people are actually very anxious for this particular, whatever the package is. And the... You, they can watch us. Um, it did not move. There we are. Okay. 
this is our unofficial motto, but I've I've heard it on our team many times. You know, what what should where should I put this code? And the the answer is always, if possible, put it public. I mean, we don't put our passwords, we don't put authentication stuff there. And um, some people have worked really hard to make sure the Jenkins, the the Koji. I didn't, I didn't even put the Koji stuff on here. Oh. Yeah, they're, anyway, I, th I didn't know I was going to have extra time, so I thought I was, I was condensing this thing. I actually have, there's, there's a lot of things that are public. Uh, you can ask us. Um, we can, you can do pull requests. Koji, I really thought I had a slide for Koji. Yeah, okay, okay, let's, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, as you can see, we do have external and internal. But uh, there's the Koji. It's kojihub.stream.centos.org. Koji. Uh, most everything is stream.centos.org. So Jenkins stream.x.org, testing stream.x. Oh, that's, that's what I didn't show was the testing page. That's what the one was. So, so there's the Koji. We can say, hey, let's see what's building right now. Let's see if we got any CentOS Stream 10. Uh, oh, modules. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, let's. But. Uh, while we're while we're there, if we want to see some other things, uh, oh yes, these yeah these these are these are not um, these are not Johnny building these things. Well, Johnny has uh, been sad. <laughs> But Johnny was happy when he was able to pass it over. These are, yeah, as, as uh, Alexander pointed out, these are rel, rel engineers trigger the CentOS stream builds. They are not the CentOS stream team. Me and, and Adam and our team, we aren't building these. Johnny is no longer building these. Um, these are the rel engineers. Um, oh, come on. There's got to be another one. Some of, okay. Let's let's look at. Um, should we see what kernel? Do I? Kernel. <laughs> kernel seems exciting. Ooh. There's an EL10 kernel. I wonder what kernel's going to be in there. EL10. Yeah, I had to manually kick it off. <laughs> and the kernel team might be upset at me for that, but I'm like, I need a kernel. <laughs> At some point, we got to build the kernel for 10. Let's make that little red thing go away. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's there's lots of things we can... I'm going to do the Jenkins... No, I don't dare do the Jenkins one because I have the wrong bookmark on here. Uh, let's do the Jenkins testing. There we are, testing the things. Um, so as I said, we, we have things test. And here's like the CentOS Stream 9 tests. Uh, this, all the ones that are green are, are normal tests. And this is one that we're, we're trying to work with the community to bring more tests in for testing. Um, and the, 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 the ex yeah, experimental people uh, try, try things and sometimes they don't work. Um, I'm going to jump to the questions and answers because we've already had two things that people have questioned about. What do we have any other questions and answers? Because there is, I thought I had less time than this, so I, I wrote this short. Neither I've talked past. So, anyway, questions and answers. Wow. Ah, we got one.
And, and if I can, I'll show it. Why Jenkins? <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with it. Why? Uh, on a personal basis, grown. I, I'm not the sysadmin for it. <laughs> Jen Jenkins has its reasons. Uh, we do have uh, Zool CI to run tests on merge requests, by the way. So it's not on Jenkins alone. There is some injections of attempts to try to switch to, to something different. <laughs> I had yeah. a comment, not a question. So, like, I really like your motto that everything which like what what's possible to be public it is public so if you're unsure if something is public most likely it is uh, we just forgot to put the documentation in the right places for it so please ask <laughs> if you think something is hidden it's most likely it, it is not hidden intentionally it's just well, we need to figure out how to put the correct information in correct places so please ask before yeah, making conclusions <laughs> Yep. Um, the, there is, I will say that we, we do have a, a folder that you can't see that it's just called scripts. And those are things that are pointing to internal stuff. Um, to be honest, there's been so many internal things that just get leaked out in scripts and all that. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, we, we, Whenever possible, we try to make it public. Um, I will be putting these up. Okay, I, I, we do have another one. Um, and I think I'm going to be working with Sean because I d actually didn't know that there was a doc sig. Because so, when people come and ask me, I will say, hey, here's where it is. And then I think I'm going to be working with Sean a little bit. So what about the stuff used to set up the things that make up the infrastructure for CentOS Stream? Are those public yet? Let me see. Let's see. Um, let's go on a quest, yes. So I had the links here. Um, most all of them are on release engineering. I know that there is some that are not, um, but we will see. Gotta love live demos. Oh gosh, not this. Oh, <laughs> that's going to the wrong place. Wait, do I have the wrong? Yeah. Go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, incognito. Don't suffer. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I don't want to be on this group. Okay, so let's go to GitLab, and then let's just say Red Hat. See if that gets me in there. Welcome, welcome oh, to uh, something. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Wh which button do I push? <laughs> this one? The left one. Left one. Okay, GitLab, Red, Red Hat, and there should be CentOS Stream. There's CentOS Stream. Okay, and release engineering. Uh, no, you do not get to see our in infrastructure. Set up stuff. Set up stuff. Uh, the, the Jenkins stuff is all in, so there's Kickstarts, Koji, Punji, release. So this RelEng tools is our teams. This is not Fabian. Okay. Okay, if that makes sense. We got Fabian probably wants to answer that. He he's probably sweating bullets with me doing this. <laughs> no, just to answer the question. Um, so of course the release engineering script are there, but all the infrastructure code. So Ansible is doing all the management and keeping everything up to date and deploying everything. It's sharing the same code as we do for CBS or other part of the infra. So everything is go is github.com slash centos slash and then you have Ansible role. So you will see everything is managed with public code. It's the only thing you can't see for obvious reason is the inventory with uh, credentials, of course, which are internal, but everything else, the code is public. That's the reason why if you, if you had a look, you will see that RPMoto spec was deployed quickly 
and deploy it the next week after because it's, it's coming from the same code in CDS. So we, do, we write code once and we reuse everywhere. Reusability, that's what I used in my talk yesterday, right? <laughs> no. Yep. And yeah, while we're on this one, this is one of these scripts was actually uh, a pull request from a community member. I have no idea. The Vagrant script here, wherever I can, it's, it's hard for me to search and, and turn my head. To, oh, I'm actually on it. But this was, majority of this code was committed, was given to us by a community member. Um, you know, we double checked it in, there was, a, there was a few variables in the wrong spot, but uh, so you can help us with our work. I, some people want it. Uh, he had waited a long time for us to get Vagrant up and now we're having authentication issues, uh, which oddly enough coincided with the Vagrant weirdness. Yes. Uh, just one last question. Uh, when will six be able to build for stream 10? When will who be able to? Six. Us. Oh, six. So us. Uh, don't do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to give a rough estimate. This year, sometime. Let's go. Let's go for the last half of this year. But that is, that is as as close as I'm going to get. It's still in such a flux. Um, we're we are currently pulling it down from F40 until it branches. Um, if you're in the ELN SIG, you, you already know this, but it, um, and, and so it's, it, it's like doing rawhide and, and then we got to get everybody else cleaned up. So uh, we'll, we'll let you know. Uh, Carl is, has been I, I, I'll probably let him know first. Of all. Oh, that's for sorry, Carl. Carl for doing the Apple Ten stuff, um, and uh, Fabian's is always talking to our team, and so he will know too when when the SIGs when we feel it's comfortable for the SIGs. But at this time, it's it's sort of a mess. Not not a mess. Early, Early development. <laughs> Anything you do other than just test to make sure your pathways are correct is probably not a good idea. There's, there's still key components like kernel. No, I, it built, you saw it. But you also saw that that was release candidate too. Um, so uh, it's going to change. <laughs> um, anything else? Okay. Oh, oh, we got one more. Okay. Neil. The other Neil. Uh, so when is it appropriate to file a JIRA against CentOS Stream versus Red Hat or RHEL? Um, no, always do because, okay, so let's say uh, my example was Bash. Let's say you have found a bug in Bash and it's in RHEL or something else. It, that bug better be in CentOS Stream. So it should, so go ahead and file it on CentOS Stream. Uh, I, I, I'm. Oh, I've got three people in the room contradicting me. Come here. Somebody who has. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when we're talking about content, about packages and uh, bugs of packages, content of CentOS Stream is the content of RHEL. So you file bugs for RHEL in Jira Rig, uh, with uh, like version to be the center stream nine or eight or whatever. When it is the issue with the infrastructure of a stream, like, uh, I don't know, Koji, or you want to figure out how composers work and like, uh, or suggest some feature for release engineering process, you go to center stream Jira. So center stream is about the team, which is led by Adam, uh, which is like, doing the work to make center stream happen as, as uh, like infrastructure wise the content is rel content so whenever it's an issue with any of their center stream packages like uh, bugs in the that thing you go to rel yeah okay thank you i i didn't realize that i was actually saying that 
Okay, that's why everybody's saying no. <laughs> but Bash is broken uh, there. Um, Compose is doing something weird. No, not even Compose. You usually don't want to go to here. <laughs> Unless it's like Vagrant is not being updated, which we already have three tickets on that. We know we're working on it. But uh, something like that. Okay. Can we rename this project because it's confusing, right? Can you just call it Santos Stream Infra? Uh, I, but, but it's not. Then it would go to Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> and and no, we can't. Uh, naming is, we might. Oh, we got a hand up. Okay. <laughs> For those that didn't hear, uh, Adam, Adam in the background who actually couldn't change that said that's a good idea. And we'll, we'll, we'll see. He doesn't, anyway, that's a good question. We will, we will look at it and see if we can because not only is it confusing to you, but we don't like getting them and saying this isn't where it goes. Um, I have two minutes, so one more question. How's, your <laughs> How, how's my week? Actually, my flight here wasn't bad despite the, the crazy snow. Oh, I got better flights because of a snowstorm. Um, so, yeah, and, and Brussels is really nice. It's good weather here. For those of you out, out there, it's for Brussels, it's good weather, isn't it? It's above freezing. So thank you for asking. My week is very well. And this is my last talk, so it's going to go even better. <laughs> thank you.